You eat meat, right? Say again? You eat meat. Yeah, I do. I'm, so a, probably, I'm not a vegetarian. Yeah, no. What I like I'm, my lamb yeah. biryanis. But what I'm saying is that is also life. And probably you have killed as many animals no. as Hitler killed people. We, we take life with the yeah. permission of God because these, you know, we have a perspective about in this life. I don't do it for what sport. What are I do it no, yeah, to yeah, nourish no, myself. I understand. Yeah. Taking the life of a human being is not the same as taking the life of an animal. Why? Because the value is different. How? Okay. Do you have pets? the value of animals do you have is pets? lesser than you. Do you have pets? Yeah. What do you feed them? What do you have? Cat or a dog? Dog. A dog. What do you feed your dog? dog. Vegetarian food? No, no, no. No? Oh, you no, feed him? I, I'm not saying about me, I'm saying about you. No, no, but I'm using your principle. Yeah. You're saying that you're saying it is wrong for me to be a non-vegetarian. Is there a value difference? Because value difference is there. You Why? do not you do not treat your dog the same way as you would treat your kids, would you? No. Why is that? Because the value you realize is different. Okay? No, its needs are different. Say again? Its needs are different. No, no, even the value. Needs. Even the value is different. So for example, both your dog and your kids need food. Do you invite them to the dinner table at the same time? On the dinner table? The but needs are same. They both them. need food, right? Yeah. But, but the I way you treat your dog them. is not definitely the same as you treat your children. But I don't... That's not because there is a value difference. No, no. You, you value them differently. There's no doubt about it. So you this. value the life of an animal and a human being the same, is it? No, I'm asking you, why don't you value Because in our belief system, in our paradigm, the Creator has created us and given us all of this for our benefit. Even the, the planets and other stars and so on, we can utilize them for our own benefit. So the food that we eat, the animals and so on, these are provisions for us. But we, of course we cannot make that's, commit excesses. That's an we cannot commit view. excesses. We have to, like for example, only consume for for food rather than sports. So we can't did go and hunting. What she said, she said, it's a narciss narcissistic view. It's like oh, humans so important. Everything is. But you, for you, us. you, even though so, you are saying this, you consciously do this. So you, you treat your animals and your children differently. There's no doubt about this. Do you think human beings and animals have I'm the saying, same value? No, no. I overall, I do believe religions have this narcissism aspect. I'm just not religion. No, no. Even you, as a non-religious person. You treat your animals, your pets, and your children differently. There's okay. no doubt about this. Have you have ever taken antibiotics? Yeah. How many bacteria have you killed? <laughs> if you consider the life of every living thing the same, then that means you should not take antibiotics or any antivirals or any antifungals, anything, because these will probably destroy the life of a fungus, of a bacteria, of a virus, of all this, um, you know. No, I do that because I don't think organisms? of it as a value. I think of it as a survival. Sorry? I don't think of it as a value. I think of it as a survival. I mean, you I don't could, value I, them equally. If I you could eat meat, it would be no, no. my do you survival. Value, do you value all living beings? A, I am oh sort God. of lost here. Yeah. Do you value all living beings equally? Yeah. Equally. Yeah. So that means a bacteria, a very harmful bacteria, that mm. gives us infection. Mm. I could kill it if I if it means. She's saying she does it for survival. survival. So Not you you do it for survival. It, yeah. it has no value. So you would kill I mean, it for survival. I think this mentality of value and power plays also very toxic. No, it's not. You do like I said. You do it whether you like it or not. You would treat non-humans differently to humans, whether subconsciously or consciously, and you do it on a daily basis without even realizing it. So anyone who tells me that they value humans and non-humans the same. They're not being genuine. Put a scenario. You have your own child and you have your own pet dog. You can only save one of them. The child. Why would you spare the child and it's not the dog? Because it's close to me, right? It's not. So value. now you see the difference it's comes in. It's, it's your value judgment. So, so you. No. It's not only. It's what is close to me. My okay, dad. let's let's forget about your child. Somebody else's Somebody child. Somebody else's child and your then own what? pet. We have no relation to that child. Yeah. And it's a complete stranger pet. to you. Uh -huh. the, the ship is sinking. You got some rats on the corner, one corner, and you got a child on the other corner. The ship is sinking. You are you're only allowed to take one entity with you to save their life. Would you take a rat or would you take a human? Human. Why? Like I said, consciously or subconsciously, you as a human being will always save the life or, or value the life of a human higher than non-human. And that's okay. exactly what we are saying. Agreed.